Good day, folks. Welcome back to My Neck of the Woods. My name is Dika, where I share my experience and my knowledge, hoping to lessen your learning curve. So today I am going to talk about hex hunting clothing, human energy concealment system. That's hex. Uh, before I get started, please sub the channel, like my videos, and make some comments. You know that I love the comments. Lots of feedback, negative or positive. That's how I learn, and that's how I find out what people want, and I can do better reviews. All right, so hex hunting clothing system or however you want to wear it this is obviously i'm wearing one this is a long sleeve shirt right here um it's it's kind of like a like a silky i bought the base layer package which was 260 dollars, and that consists of this long sleeve it doesn't zip all the way down it just zips to right here um it came with a uh a head piece which is relatively comfortable it works and then um a bottom base layer and for the most part, until it starts to get cold, all I wear is this, and I wear this for the most part. Uh, it, it's good material. It's not better or worse than any other type of base layer out there for the most part. $260 for those three pieces, which is expensive. But does it work? Is it worth the $260? It does something. It certainly does something. Um, I don't, I didn't record, I don't record my hunts, but I'm going to tell you my experience is my experience wearing hex clothing. All right. So the first experience that I had was on a deer hunting day and I went out into the woods. I, you know, deer hunted or whatnot. And then, um, on my way back when it was dark, um, in this place where I used to hunt, it was like a long road and, it was uh, wide enough for a truck to, to drive down for the most part. It was an old path or whatever. And normally when you, go, when you walk out, you walk out in the dark, you know, you have your headlamp on, there are rabbits, rabbits absolutely everywhere. You know, they, you see their eyes and they're just taken off in all directions for the most part. This night, they did not run. They didn't go anywhere. They just kind of sat there. In fact, one, I, I almost tripped over one of them because it didn't move. So then I'm... Um, thinking to myself, well, is it because I'm wearing hacks? Is it because I'm wearing this? And uh, I, I was very skeptical about it for the most part. But I mean, one rabbit, I basically touched its head. And I, I mean, I understand you can get close to rabbits sometimes. Sometimes you can get within an arm's length of rabbits before they run away, you know, especially in the suburbs where I live. But these were just not moving. They just didn't know that I was there. It was really odd. It was a really odd, odd experience for the most part, all right? Now, my second experience is when I was out scouting. I wore this when I was out scouting, and I came across a snake. And the snake was coiled up, uh, sunning itself on some leaves. And I stepped next to it, and it didn't, it didn't go anywhere. So I pushed the envelope just a little bit further. And I put my hand down. I, now, I didn't have hex gloves on. I just had this on. Put my hand down. I was able to touch that snake before it slithered off anywhere. In fact, it was, it was actually looking at me really close and I brought my camera down to it, you know, I brought my phone like next to it and it, it didn't, it didn't go anywhere. But once I touched it, it was like, holy crap. And then it took off. It was just a small garter snake. It wasn't like a crazy snake or anything like that. But normally when you encounter a snake, they they take off. Normally you're like little, you're like, whoa, there's a snake or something like that, you know? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. And um, my third experience was turkey hunting. I wore this turkey hunting. And I mean, the, the turkeys were so close to me that I, I mean, it, you needed them to move further away so I could shoot at them. I mean, I had, I, ha I have a crossbow now, but at this time I had a bow and I mean, they just, it was so close. I needed it to, I couldn't shoot it because it was so close to me. It was basically like pecking at my boot. I was just sitting on the ground. I've, I had from ground blind most times or just sitting on the ground, spot and stock and things like that. Um, other experiences I've had is one, one was out deer hunting, and this, this happened last season. It, a deer just basically brushed up against my blind. I mean, I was in the blind. The wind, the wind wasn't perfect. I mean, it wasn't completely in my face, but this deer should have smelled me. I mean, its entire torso came like right up against the window. It was like inside the blind. I actually touched the deer, and I, I pushed it. You know, and it was like, what the hell? And then it looked, and it still didn't really pick up on me. It was too close to shoot. It was, it was crazy. Now, I ended up shooting that deer because it ended up walking off and then coming broadside. And I shot it at like 15 yards and recovered it. It was a, it was a doe. Um, I've had great, like, 
there's just weird experiences sometimes that you're like, you kind of can't believe them. So it, it, in my opinion, it really works. It really works ex exactly as, as advertised. Um, I, I was out hunting this morning and I had um, like squirrels. I mean, they were on top of my blind and I've had squirrels dig up underneath my blind and come in the blind with me sometimes. And sometimes when, even when they're in the blind, they're still not frightened. They're still not bothered by it. Now, normally, I've had them come like to the edge before or whatever, and you know, I'll sort of kick at them or whatnot, and then they'll take off. But I've actually, I've let them come in the blind. I've hunted on the ground. I have had birds land on my arms or land on my boots. Um, I had an owl basically come down and it was really too close for Comet because he was really big. He had talons and he like, I think he was going to land on my shoulder or something, but I kind of like brushed him away. He came really, really close and he was coming in. I was like, what the heck is that? And I went like this and I actually hit the owl. I actually hit a wild animal coming in to land on me because it didn't, doesn't know that I'm there. It's real. It's really bizarre, but it really, really works. I wear it along with, um, set lock and my experiences hunting have just gotten so much more personal. It's a great product. You should buy it. And I'm not sponsored by it by any, any way, shape or form. Um, sometimes even when I, um, when I'm walking into my stand, say, say it's for an afternoon hunt or something like that. And there's dog walkers. Sometimes the dogs look at me weird. They kind of like, they just kind of look at you a little weird. Like they can't pick you up. Like I'm, I'm not wearing headgear or anything like that. I, I I'm not sure how it, how the view is for the animals. Uh, on the website, you can go on the website, and there's testimonials like Joe Rogan stands behind them. There's another guy, um, he's a wildlife expert. He stands behind, he uses for underwater, and he says he can get really, really close to sea life. Um, I watched some videos on it too. Uh, that's how I kind of got into it. But the, the, on the website, they answer all your questions. Like they go into the uh, frequency ask questions and they'll say like, what is it? Why is it? Um, it it's carbon wound fibers that um, they, they say it's very similar to like your microwave door to keep radiation from not going into your home. Either way, uh, those are my experiences. Like I said, I don't film my hunts. You'll have to take my word for it on this. But... Is it worth the money? In my opinion, yes, but I mean, not, not everyone's got the dough to, to spend on it, you know, especially for something like deer hunting when you may already be successful. But I like it. I really do like it. And I, I, I don't hunt without it now. It, it, it just makes the, the um, experience so much more enjoyable, so much more personal. Even if I'm not going to shoot the animal, they get really, really close, really close sometime. I had a buck. This was a couple years ago, a buck come and uh, like stick its head almost in my blind. It came right towards me and I actually had to like back up in the blind and I'm like, all right, now what do I do? You know, and it ended up turning sideways and I, I didn't get a shot. It was actually too close to shoot. That's a lot of the experience that I get, especially out deer hunting. They're, they become too close. It's really crazy. I like it. That's all I got for you. Sub the channel. I'll talk to you guys later. Be well.